Microsoft has challenged uh, the UK regulator's decision to block uh, Call of Duty maker Activision uh, 69 billion US dollar takeover. Microsoft is appealing the United Kingdom's uh, decision to prohibit its uh, 69 billion US dollars merger of Call of Duty creator Activision Blizzard because uh, to fundamental errors uh, in the evaluation of uh, Microsoft's cloud gaming services. The Competition and Markets Authority CMA of the United Kingdom banned the agreement in April, claiming it would harm competition in the embryonic cloud gaming business. Microsoft stated on Wednesday that it had filed an appeal with the Competition Appeal Tribunal CAT against a verdict, and a summary of its grounds was released on Friday. According to the summary, the CMA is finding that the merger would result in a significant reduction in competition in the United Kingdom's cloud gaming industry was incorrect. Microsoft will argue before the competition uh, appeal tribunal and uh, that the CMA uh, made fundamental errors in its calculation and uh, assessment of market share data for cloud gaming services. Microsoft provided a total of five reasons uh, for appeal. Uh, both businesses uh, were um, outraged uh, by the CMA's surprise decision to ban the largest gaming transaction ever. Uh, last week, uh, Microsoft uh, avoided a potential early legal uh, stumbling uh, block in its uh, 69 billion US dollars bid to purchase Activision Blizzard. Uh, when a US court declined to allow gamers uh, in a private complaint to preliminary stop the uh, acquisition, in December, a private uh, uh, plaintiffs uh, sued Microsoft in federal court in California, seeking an uh, injunction against the uh, acquisition, uh, which they claimed was damaging to competition. In a judgment uh, published late Friday night, uh, U.S. District Judge um, Jacqueline Scott Corley in San Francisco federal court stated uh, that uh, the video gamers had not uh, uh, demonstrated uh, demonstrated uh, that they would be uh, irreparably harmed if the merger were permitted to occur before she judges on the matters of their case.